Hello everyone, welcome to the Watchtower, and today it is time to do the annual room tour. So this is going to be the 2023 room tour, guys. So, if anyone who's watching my previous room tours, you know I have this main room right here, and then I also have stuff in the living room. So we're going to do this main room here first, and then we're going to jump over and we'll do the little bit of stuff that I have in the living room, alright? So that, guys, is coming up next. All right, and here we're at the door to the statue room. So we're gonna go in right here. We're gonna take a look at inside the statue room here. So here we are. Gonna do a quick pan around the room real quick so you can see everything. And then we are going to uh, jump in and go more in depth with everything. Um, this is a second bedroom of a two bedroom apartment. So, yes, it's not a very big space, but it is my collection room, and I like coming in here um, after, you know, work or whatever, or being out and coming in here and just looking at everything and relaxing and maybe reading a book while I'm in here and just kind of just, like, letting everything melt away. So, yeah, so here it is. So we're going to go in, and we're going to start right here at this detolf uh, and start with what's up here. So it's pieces up on the top here, this detolf. So first we have this Nightwing statue by Kotobukiya right there. Nice little piece. And then we have this Batman vs. Killer Croc statue diorama. Um, this was one of my first pieces I got, one of my first big pieces I got, one of the first ones I spent, you know, over uh, $200 on. So nice little piece there, really, really like that one. Um, I love a bigger, like, version of that. That would be so cool. Yeah, so very cool right there. And then we have this mini Dark Knight Returns statue based on Joe Kubert's artwork. So there's that. Also by DC Collectibles. And then we have this Jim Lee Joker black and white right there. Also by DC Collectibles. And then we're going to open this door here. We're going to move down into the actual detolf. Right there. All right. So, got some more Batman related pieces here. So, first, got that Kotobukiya uh, Killing Joke Joker. Still a really, really, I think I've had this for over 10 years. Still a nice piece. I really, really like this one. I think it's a great statue. And then, Batman perched on a chimney. And Batman perched on a gargoyle. So a couple of Batmans perched right there. Right there. And then um, this is the Batman bust designed by Jim Lee. And Greg Capullo, Batman Who Laughs Black and White statue right there. And then moving down to the next shelf, we have all of my Flash uh, smaller scale statues. So right there, all the different Flashes. Yeah, so all those. And then a couple of my cover girls down this one. So you got the mirror right there. The Huntress cover girls. And the Zatanna, all designed by Stanley Art Jim Lau. So there's those. And then the bottom is the Green Lantern power battery. All right, so we're done there. And we're going to move over to the next, or the, I should say the first, uh, garage shelving. Um, yeah, so we're going to go over to the first garage shelving, and this is, you know, a lot of my heroes and stuff over here, one fourth scale statues, some smaller stuff in front. We're going to start right here with this Flash, uh, premium format designed by Daniel Bell, and I, this is such a great representation of Flash. I love how, for lack of a better word, how simple it is. Um, there's no lightning bolts coming off of him, there's no speed force, it's just him, and full run, I think this is such a great, great piece. Absolutely a great, great statue. It looks outstanding. Such a great, great piece. And then one of my favorites in my collection, this Green Arrow. I think he looks awesome. Um, just the design of it, the, the sculpt, the paint, everything about this is just, it crushes. I absolutely love this piece. I think it's 
probably one of my favorite ones in my collection. With maybe maybe the Batman Who Laughs um, might have it beat, but I but I think this is such a great great piece. I really really like it. So good. Yeah. So there. Yeah. So there he is, and then we have the original Wonder Woman PF uh, by Sideshow Collectibles. Again, a nice piece. Um, one of the first ones they did when they had the DC line. One of my first, you know, quarter scale pieces I got in. Uh, yeah, she's a great, great statue right there. And then behind, I have, I got these from a guy that, uh, at work, um, some Batman related cars. Um, I told him I would put in my collection, so shout out to Kanan for those. And then moving up front here, I have some bus. And the first one, it's Green Arrow. Again, designed by Jim Lee. All my Buster Jim Lee are designed by Jim Lee from the New 52 run. So there's one there. There's uh, uh, Greg Capullo, uh, inspired by the art of Greg Capullo, uh, Dark Knight's Metal, Batman, Wonder Woman right there. Again, all these by Jim Lee. So we got the Deathstroke right there. Nice little statue there. Green Lantern. Right there, great, great Green Lantern, and this Aquaman right here. So, yeah, there are all those, all those new 52 uh, Jim Lee busts right there. And then moving down to this first shelf in this Detolf, have some more quarter scale statues. And one thing that I really tried to work on this year is getting the lighting for these garage shelvings on the inside. Try to tried several different kinds and everything wasn't happy with them um sorry for the shake here and then i uh, found these ones actually from another youtuber that he had for his and i can't remember his name right now but got them loved them uh yeah so i'm using his lighting display in the cabinets i really, really like them but this is that this new huntress statue uh she's a great piece uh you know i've Talked about her when I did the review and everything. Not a fan of the base, but she's awesome looking. And then we got this, you know, Robin right here by Sideshow Collectibles. Another really dynamic, fun piece. Really, really like him. Such the, I love the motion and everything of him. Such a fun idea that they did with him. He's awesome. Really, really like this one. Yeah. So good. And then moving over, we have this, uh, the Black Adam by Kotobukiya, a little piece right there, fun little, you know, Black Adam piece. And then my newest piece that I've gotten in is the uh, Zatanna by XM Studios. If anybody's seen my review and everything, you know, I had a few issues with this, um, some QC stuff, but she came, but she looks awesome herself. She's a great, great statue. I really, really like her. I love her with the with that hat on and everything, or the top hat on. Um, yeah, she's a great-looking piece. Really, really happy with her, besides a few QC issues, which should be getting fixed. Um, but, yeah, but she looks great. Absolutely outstanding. The plaque right there. And then we're going to move down to the bottom shelf here. And we got that original Huntress right there. So there's that original Huntress. Looking great. Really, really like that one. Uh, I think I still prefer her to the new one, but they're both great. You can't go wrong with either of them. Really, really great statues there. And then this uh, Sideshow Aquaman. This is their first and only Aquaman they've done. And this is actually one that I do want to upgrade in my collection. I would like a new one-fourth scale Aquaman. There's nothing. This one's fine, but I just I would like one that's a little bit more updated, a little bit more modern, like a little, a little better sculpt to it and everything. Um, so hopefully, whether a sideshow does a new one or XM, I get a new one. And then also this Black Canary, I would also like to upgrade this one as well. She's fine. I would just like I would just want something a little bit more, um, just a little bit more updated. Um, I think that I think that you know this one's like almost eight years old now. I think there's just some things you can do with sculpt and everything that she would look uh, a lot better newer. But still, she's a nice piece. I like this one, and I'm not in a hurry to upgrade. Um, I, you know, I didn't really like the new sideshow one, so hopefully someone else does a one fourth one that looks really good. But that is that bottom shelf then. 
Um, yeah, so then we are going to go ahead. There's all that. And we're going to move on and go to the next section. All right, and then we're going to move over to this Besta right here. This the top's got my Catwoman display. I got other stuff there. We're going to that. So this is my this is my Catwoman display right here. So we got this uh, classic tweeter head Catwoman right here. Uh, the uh, I believe was this Bronze Age Bronze Age Catwoman right here. Uh, very, very nice piece. I would like them to do, uh, hopefully Tweeterhead does a, new, a modern Catwoman soon, because I'd like that. Uh, and then we have this OG Sideshow Catwoman. Great piece. And uh, I should say the newer Catwoman, but it's kind of the, the middle one at this point, because I just had that that new one that came out with last year, which I really like, and I'm debating getting it, but I don't know if I have room for a third premium format Catwoman right now. And I know they'll make more, so I might wait. And then down here we got some smaller scale stuff. So this is that Arkham City Catwoman. Cover Girls Catwoman, designed by Stanley Art Germ Lau. Catwoman Bust by Jim Lee. Joelle, jo Joelle Jones designed Catwoman right there from the Cover Girls line. And then down here, got my Wonder Woman display. So, a bunch of Wonder Woman right here. So, go to Bakia Wonder Woman back there. Right there, we got the, the Rosie the Riveter Wonder Woman, or the, the Bombshell. It's another Cover Girls Wonder Woman, Stanley Art Drum Lau. Cover Girls, Joelle Jones, Catwoman, or Catwoman, Wonder Woman, um, and Jenny Friesen, Cover Girls, not Cover Girls, Designer Series, Wonder Woman, right there. So there's those. Bottom shelf, empty for right now. I'm sure we'll get something to fill there. <laughs> Let's move over now to this first uh, garage shelf. Over here with my 1-6 scale displays, and my Justice League characters here. So we got the we got the Flash right here. Absolutely outstanding piece. I really, really like this piece so much by XM Studios. He is absolutely awesome. Space Hog takes up a lot of room. He's very wide, very deep. Um, but he's a great representation of the Flash and speed and everything on that cosmic treadmill. Very, very cool design there. Really, really like this one. And then... Right there behind him is Green Lantern from Tweeterhead. Again, nice piece. And then we got the Wonder Woman, the OG. And she will be moving once I have the new Wonder Woman on order. So as soon as I get the new one, she will be going down there with the other Wonder Woman. Um, and we'll put the new one up here somewhere. We're just going to swap them out. And then... Their first Batman PF right there. Nice statue right there. Or PF. Tweeter heads. Uh, Batman maquette. It's not a premium format. <laughs> so there's that. And then this guy might be the best one they've done. The Superman by Tweeter Head. I think... I'm not even a huge Superman fan. And I think this is absolutely awesome. Such a nice, nice statue. It has such a presence. It just... When you walk in, your eyes just are drawn right to it. So powerful. Such a great, great statue. Yeah, I really like this one. He looks great. And then, moving down here, we got the Tweeterhead Martian Manhunter. Great statue. I think it's criminally underrated. They did not make many of these, um, but he's awesome. He's really, really good. Got that Martian base and everything. Yeah, he looks awesome. I really like him. And then, this Nightwing back here is a placeholder until I get more Tweeterheads or XM Studios statues in to go with the Justice League. Um, but, you know, he's kind of a placeholder for right now, but he's a nice, he's a nice little statue right there. He's cool. Yeah, so he's kind of a placeholder, but, yeah. And then we got this Shazam right here, or Captain Marvel, I should say. Um, pretty good statue. Um, pretty good representation of Shazam. Probably one of my least favorites, um, of Tweeterhead's uh, Superpowers line, but not bad. 
And then Red Hood right here, designed by Kenneth Rockefort. Another placeholder until I can get some more Tweeterhead stuff in and fill out the Justice League. So yeah, there's there he is. And then over here, this dude is awesome. This is Tweeterhead's Dark Knight Returns muddy version. And oh boy, he's awesome. This is a great, great piece. It really pains me that because they were going to do this whole line of like standalone characters, like ripped from different comic book story lines and everything. And they only did this one. It really, really pains me that they did do more of them. I would still love for them to do more from this line and just have their own thing. Such a great one. And then moving down to the bottom, we have the OG Bane PF from Sideshow. Don't have the new one. Stuck with this guy. The new one's very nice, but this dude is awesome. Not his final place. He's been here the last couple years because I really need, a, you know, like a counterweight on the bottom um, of this shelving. So it's not all top heavy, but he will. As soon as I get more pieces in, he will be going over with the rest of the one-fourth Batman villains, you know, where he belongs. But he is such a great, great piece. There's such a power and a presence to him. Yeah, he looks so, so awesome. Absolutely outstanding piece. I really, really like this one. All right, and then we are going to go up here, and we're going to look at what is mostly the villain side of the shelving then. These are pretty much all Batman villains, or not Batman villains, but just uh, DC villains in general. So we have this dark side right here. Great, great dark side piece. He's outstanding. Such a nice, nice statue. He's got such a power to him. Yeah, awesome. Absolutely outstanding. Really, really like this one. Love the love the fire on the base, the tra the translucent resin. Yeah, very cool. He's awesome. Got the OG Joker back there by Tweeterhead. Still a nice piece. And then XM Studios Deathstroke. He's awesome. He looks so so good. Absolutely outstanding. Red Hood sneaking in there a little bit. Little Red Hood. Then we got the Tweeter Head. Black Adam back there. He's got a great presence too. Very, very strong statue. Tweeter Head's Cheetah. This one's okay. Um, she's pretty good. And then this Red Hood by XM Studios. Uh... He's awesome. Look at all the detail and everything on him. He looks so, so good. Such a great Red Hood representation in 1-6. Plaque right there. Yeah, and then moving down to this next shelf. We got these guys and girls right here. So this dude's just a placeholder right now. This is uh, Kotobukiya Batman. One of the first, another one of the first pieces I got in. Such a great little piece. Got this Poison Ivy on Throne right here. She is such a lovely piece. I do have the variant on order, um, so I'm looking forward to getting the variant in and comparing these two, but this regular skin one looks great. And then this guy, who? what can I say about him? He's awesome. This Joker on Throne, Deluxe Maquette by Tweeterhead, he's awesome. He is just freaking awesome. Like, there's... Oh, Frank the Plant right there sneaking in. Um, but yeah, there is so much detail on him. He looks absolutely outstanding. Such a nice, nice Joker statue. Tudor had killed it with this one. And then moving down, some Deathstrokes here. It's a Kotobukiya Deathstroke from New 52. Right there. And then this guy, Sideshow's Deathstroke. Such a great piece. A lot of people don't like it. Don't think it's actually any, really represents any version of Deathstroke from the comics. Um, and yeah, they're right, but I love it. And then that is that. We're going to move up over here. And then we have some artwork here. Mr. Freeze there. The other two are Zatanna and Poison Ivy. And then we're going to go over and we're going to look at my... Batman black and white display. So I got quite a few black and whites. So there's these guys are. Some more down here. I will, uh, 
I'll try to remember who did all of these. Um, yeah, uh, um, yeah, it's not coming to me. <laughs> oh, there's Sean Murphy right there. And then right beside him, um, Raphael Albuquerque. I believe that's Jonathan Matthews, Jim Lee, mm, Brian Hitch, I believe, uh, Francis Manipal. Yeah, I believe that's a Francis Manipal one. Uh, Jay Lee, uh, Jason Fabok, Jim Lee, uh, Dave Johnson, two right there. These are kits that I put together. So there are all those. And then moving over to my one fourth scale villains, Batman villains. So there. We're going to go through these guys real quick. So there's that Mr. Freeze premium format by Sideshow Collectibles. How great is he? He looks awesome. Absolutely outstanding. Hopefully, some companies uh, this year, I'm looking at you, Sideshow, and Tweeterhead, uh, do some more Bat Villains in one four scale so I can finish this lineup. There's a couple I really, really need, and anything after that is just gravy. So... It's got Tweeter Head and Tweeter Head. Scarecrow right here. By Sideshow Collectibles. Great statue. Absolutely outstanding piece. He's awesome. And then we got that Joker by Sideshow Collectibles. Another great, fun piece. Rorschach. Just there. I got no place else to put him. But there's Rorschach. And then down here, we have the outstanding Batman Who Laughs by Sideshow Collectibles. And just take in all the detail on him. He is, he's on another level. He is so, so good. Um, yeah, I mean, there's XM Studios one and everything, but for my money, that's the best one. And then Killer Croc, uh... Great piece. He is undersized. Killer Croc should be bigger. He's very small. Um, if they ever did a new Killer Croc, I might replace him. And then let's go back through here. And we're going to do another pan around the room to kind of let you guys soak it all in one last time and see everything. See the layout and everything, how it looks. And then we'll go to the living room and look at that. But yeah, this is the room all told. Yeah, there's the room right there. Um, really happy with it, how it's coming out. But yeah, let's go check out the other room now. All right, everyone. So we're ready to start for this next room tour here. This is the living room. So as you see, I got some art prints here. So we got Batman. Superman right there, got a Wonder Woman art print, and right over here we got Mr. Freeze looking at Nora, all really, really nice prints right there, really, really like all these, such great prints, and then we're going to move down here, and we're going to look at this 1-4 scale Batman um, from Rebirth, this is by Prime One Studios, and this is such a great, great piece. Um, and he's basically out here in the living room because he's such a space hog. He doesn't fit in my main collection. And also, I'm worried about the shelf breaking or whatever. So I have him on this calyx out here instead of on a garage shelving because he's such a heavy, heavy piece. And then moving on, we got Grogu back there, the child from The Mandalorian. Got this flash little light-up thing that I got in a, uh, in a collectible box. Uh, sorry for the shake there a little bit, guys. And then we got some Kotobukiya's there. So we got Red Robin, Batman, Nightwing, Red Hood. Little, little pieces right there I've had for a really long time. So they're out there on top of the Calyx. There's all those. And then moving down into the actual Calyxes. Not all, but most of my graphic novels. Um, I have more in, on a bookshelf in, in my bedroom, and then I also have a stack beside my bed of ones that I still have to read. There's probably five or six books that I have that I need to get through, along with other stuff that I read. Um, some, yeah, some 
posters right there that still need framed. Got a shelf right there of um, poster portfolio books and some more books right there. So slowly um, filling up the shelves there. I'll have to get another Calyx at some point to stop those. All right, and then so this is the display around the TV here, as you can see. So this is what I look at. You know, pretty much every day when I'm watching TV or I'm laying down on the couch, that's what I see. So, got some stuff here on top. Got the art prints right here. There's some art prints right there. I believe all of these I got Hobby Lobby. Yeah, I believe so. Uh, and then we got this yellow lantern power battery right here. And then just some little fellas from mystery boxes and stuff and collectible boxes i got firefly pops such a great underrated show um one season and then all right we're gonna go down here and we're gonna open up this door right here all right so this right here is the wonder woman um premium format by sideshow collectibles this is their newest wonder woman they've done it's been a several years now so they're probably working on a new one but this is an awesome. I think it's an underrated piece. I don't think this piece gets enough love, but I think she is awesome, dynamic. She's a great Wonder Woman. I really, really like this Wonder Woman. Such a great, great piece. Yeah, she's awesome. The base lights up. The fire on the base lights up. And then moving over here, we got this. This one's empty. Um, at one point, it had uh, Huntress and Black Canary in it, but they're over in the other room now, so I'm sure at some point either they'll come back over here or something else will go there. Some stuff right there. Another empty Best Does. I'll have to put something in at some point, so i got some room there. And then moving up to the middle one, we have my Green Lantern display. So these are all of my Green Lantern um, pieces. Well, not all of them, but most of them are in here. So we got the, yeah, so just look at these guys right there. So they're all, there they are, the Kotobukiya Green Lantern, right there. And then moving up to this next shelf, or top, I should say, this next cube, top cube, are almost all of my DC bombshell statues. So you got Batgirl there, Stargirl, Black Canary, uh, Batwoman, Harley, Zatanna right there, yeah. uh, Hawkgirl, and uh, Supergirl right beside Hawkgirl. And these are all ones that, like, the more and more I have them, the more and more I'm considering just selling them, because they're up there, I don't really look at them, I don't really pay attention to them, um, they don't have that attachment with me anymore, so I'm more and more thinking about selling them. All right, and then for this year's room tour, guys, thank you all so, so much for watching. Please comment and let me know what you think. As always, I will see you the next time I log in for Modern Duty up here in the Watchtower.